I don't know why, but this morning I woke up and I just kind of had that like feeling or like inclination or what's the word? I don't know. I just kind of had that like urge. I had the urge, that's what it is, to film a haul. I haven't filmed a haul in a very long time. I don't actually think I've even filmed a haul at all this year in 2022 yet i have been on three trips recently so june was pretty manic for me and i just loved all my outfits that i've been wearing recently and i've got some really cute like new bits in my wardrobe and i thought you know what it's time to film a haul let's get back on the haul wagon and yeah show you guys what i've been adding to my wardrobe and what i've been wearing the first outfit is actually brand new in my wardrobe and i'm obsessed with it it's the first thing i've ever, ever had from this brand it's called source unknown although i don't understand the label because the label is s-o-f i don't get that how does that sound for source unknown so it's a waistcoat and trouser sort of like suit or co-ord. I'm obsessed with the colour. It's quite a pale blue for me actually. I normally go for sort of darker blues in this. I love wearing blue. The trousers are slightly too long for me. So I am going to have to get them taken up. Although when I wear this with heels, it's like perfect. So it's annoying because I want to be able to wear it with both. Because I want it to fall at the exact heel height, which it currently does. But then when I wear them with trainers, I obviously don't want them to be dragging on the floor. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm sure I can just take it to someone and they'll know what to do. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Waistcoats are so in trend right now. And what I love about this is, as I say, you can wear it with like heels. And you can also wear it with flats, trainers. I'd wear it with like Birkenstocks. You can mix and match. You can wear just the pants. You can wear just the waistcoat. Majority of the stuff in this haul you can actually wear both with heels and with flats or like trainers which is really nice i'm pretty sure i got this in a size small it doesn't actually say but i'm pretty sure it's just the size small like the smallest size you can get to be honest it fits me pretty well the the they're both pretty oversized anyway kind of like timeless pieces like this is so obviously like a timeless sort of suit that you, i can have in my wardrobe for like years and years and years and it probably won't really go out of fashion that much i mean the waistcoat might come in and out of fashion a little bit but you can guarantee that this is always kind of gonna be like on trend this dress i actually picked up to wear for royal ascot which was maybe like two weeks ago the reason i bought it is because i constantly buy dresses for races events things like that and i wear them once and i never wear them again i wanted to just go for something that actually i thought i might wear again essentially and this was the dress i chose it's so beautiful i really love it it has this kind of like textured detail and i did actually find the exact same dress the day after i bought it in just like a plain linen this is nice because it does have a bit of detail it does have a gorgeous gorgeous back detail on it but it really is just a white like maxi is it midi or maxi probably maxi on me because i'm so small i'll link both down below this one is the textured one i got this from asos and it's from a brand called the frolic and they have some really cute stuff i got it in the uk six it's quite tight not tight no i would say it's true to size but like if you're borderline between sizes i would go up just in case because the back like this little back bit can feel quite restricting i think so if you're not someone that likes restricting things or if you have maybe a bigger bust than i do then i would definitely size up on this one as i say i wore this royal ascot so i obviously wore it with a headpiece and then i wore it with my pink zara heels which i love and then this pink mango bag which i am quite literally obsessed with like it's actually like getting a bit silly i don't know what it is it just goes it goes with every outfit every single outfit i put on it goes with in fact it probably wouldn't go with that blue suit that's maybe about it but every single other thing i've put on my body in the last month this bag has gone with it was like 30 pounds i actually bought it in barcelona airport so i bought it in euros so it was actually cheaper they do it in other colors there's a stunning green color that i just cannot seem to get my hands on i mean i probably could order it online but i've been looking in store sticking with dresses i recently picked this little one up from zara and i originally bought it with the intentions of maybe sending it back but then i got home and i tried it on and i was like oh actually i really really love it it's so nice and again it can be dressed up or down i'm going to mallorca in two weeks for my birthday which is really nice Ooh. and i think it will just look really nice in the day with sandals and a big 
beach bag and then in the evening with heels and like a little handbag or something it's kind of like a linen material it's completely just plain black and then it's got this crisscross at the front which i love and then these little kind of bead details which i'm not really normally into i do think they're a little bit cheap and a tiny tiny bit tacky but i think they kind of make the dress because it is quite plain although it does have this lovely boob detail but the dress is just literally black so this little detailing does add something and it has adjustable straps which you don't often find in Zara. Zara dresses do not often have adjustable straps and it drives me crazy because Zara obviously never fits and this dress fits like a glove. I got the extra small and it's pretty true to size like as I say for Zara I think it's pretty good on the whole fit. It's quite long on me. I feel like it's probably meant to be a midi dress. No, maybe it's not. It really does come down to the floor on me, I think. Well, not the floor, but like my ankles. Maybe it's meant to be a midi dress. Maybe it's not. I am only like five foot two, just under. So if you're a lot taller than me, then it'll probably be a midi on you. If you're the same height as me, then it'll probably be a maxi as well. While we're on Zara, the top I am wearing now is actually from Zara as well. I love it so much. It's just like a black satin and it's got this like lovely crisscross back. I did cut the back strings they're meant to be a lot longer but i basically i i thought they were too long for me so i cut one and then i measured the other one to cut exactly the same and i accidentally cut the same one so then like one was really long and one was really short so i was like oh my god so i had to cut the other one so now i don't have a lot of room but on the model on the website she wraps it around the front as well which I kind of didn't realise you were meant to do before I cut them. I have tried it on in the cutaway for you with this little skirt, which I got from Nasty Gal. This actually comes in a cohort with this little top. Now the top, I'm not really that fussed about. It's probably not something I will wear myself. It's also slightly too big for me because I don't have enough boobs to fill it out. I could wear it with like a padded bra, I suppose. And I will keep it in my wardrobe for now just to see. But I mainly just bought it for the skirt because I love the skirt. I did have to get it in a size eight because they didn't have the six in stock, which is really annoying because it's a tiny, tiny bit big for me. Not enough for me to be like, I can't wear it. I will still wear it. But yeah, it is a tiny bit big for me. You can kind of tell when it's on, but it's that kind of flouncy, silky material that I almost think it just doesn't really matter. I then also tried it on to show you with this, which is, actually not new in my wardrobe i have had for a few months but i've just never worn it and i don't know why because i really like it it's just like a little bodice kind of bodicey corset kind of bralette top it's kind of similar to this but just slightly nicer i would say and much better quality this is from urban outfitters it was m more expensive than the Nasty Gal one. While we're on Nasty Gal, I thought I'd quickly just show you this bikini that I picked up from them as well, because I really love it, it's super cute. <laughs> I don't want to try it on because I haven't shaved my bikini line, <laughs> in all honesty. It's just like this little tie-dye triangle bikini bottom with like ruching. It's got this little like bralette top type vibe. And then it also comes with this little headscarf, which I love so cute i love a bikini that comes with like a matching headscarf or like scrunchie i really love nasty gal swimwear it's very affordable don't get me wrong it's not going to last you years and years and years like it's it's like a one holiday job or like two two holiday job but it's just really affordable and they just have really nice stuff one of my favorite items from this haul and that i've worn recently is this little dress from Nasty Gal. If you really look on Nasty Gal, you can find some really, really nice things. I feel like this looks and feels much more like expensive than you would think because it's Nasty Gal. Just this little like corset style top mini dress with like this ruching all along it in this like pink and green, blue kind of cream flower print and i'm honestly obsessed with it i really really love it so much it's me in a dress i got it in the uk six and i would say pretty true to size i actually wore this in ibiza recently when i went to well i went out for dinner and then i went to pasha after so i wore it with flats i wore it with just like white nike air force 
but it's quite a nice like dressy dress so you can definitely wear it with heels and dress it up as well so i think it looks nice again like both ways i don't know if this is weird but i loved the dress so much i picked up the corset top too this feels a lot thinner a lot less corset vibes like the dress feels very like sturdy and you're like in a corset whereas this kind of is a lot more flimsy i will say i got this in the size six i think it is a pain to get on and off it's one of them where you feel extremely claustrophobic you don't think you're ever going to be able to get out of it and you think you're going to have to ask someone to like cut you out it's one of them where you're just you're kind of like this for a long time like trying to get out of it but the trick is you have to go one arm at a time. I've learned now because I've tried it on a few times and I've now learned how to get out of it. But getting in and out of it is tough. If you're up for the job, I would buy it because I think it's lovely. I honestly think it's so nice. If you're not someone that likes that claustrophobic getting in and out of clothing feel, then I would maybe stay clear. But yeah. I just love it it's so cute speaking of corsets i also grabbed this which i love so much this is probably my favorite color like this green maybe slightly darker it's again another little corset top and it's from a brand called kiwi and co and they very kindly sent me a few pieces and I really like it. I wore this in Ibiza to Ushuaia and I actually, I wore it with this skirt, which I wasn't really gonna show you because don't think it's like the best quality. I loved the outfit so much. I think it's so nice and it looks really nice on. I just, as I say, the skirt, I don't know. It just kind of just like fits slightly strange. and has like a lot of excess fabric at the back. If you want to recreate the look, you can probably find a very very similar style zebra skirt somewhere as i say i wore that in ibiza to ushuaia we went and saw calvin harris at ushuaia and it's just like the perfect little outfit it was it's just like very ibiza vibes to me very like kind of like ravey dancey but also like cute but comfortable i just wore it with nike air force again and yeah i loved it one of the other things i got in my kiwi and co package from them that they kindly sent me is this dress, which is probably my favorite thing that I've worn all month, or maybe this year. I love it so much, but I will say you can, you can buy it on Amazon for like half the price, even less than half the price. It's on Amazon for like 15 pounds. Now, obviously I didn't get this from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same dress. So I will link, I'll link them both below. I'll link the Kiwi and Co one and then I'll link the Amazon one as well and you you can decide for yourself which ones you want to go for like this is obviously the Kiwi and Co one but there's no label in it so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure they just bought it from Amazon I'm not I'm not throwing any shape but I'm just being honest and I do think you can buy the exact same dress from Amazon it fits me so well the colors are just so complimentary especially on holiday when you have a tan honestly this would be my my top my top piece because i love it so much lastly i was very kindly gifted a few pieces from pepper mayo as well which is an australian brand i've never had anything from them before and i honestly really really love their stuff i picked up this which is a little stripy knitted like bandeau mini dress just goes all the way down it's so flattering on it just like compliments and hugs all the pieces of your body you want it to compliment and because it's knit and also quite thick you can't really see any like lines or anything it just makes you look very like you know so yeah i really really love that i got that in the extra small to small and i would say it's pretty true to size again i know i sound like a broken record but this is something you can dress up and down i would wear this with trainers i would wear this with heels i would wear this on holiday i'd wear this here in the uk i would wear this you know all over. I went to Balaton Sound Festival in Hungary last week, which was really fun. And this is one of the outfits I wore. This is also from Pepper Mayo. You guys loved this on Instagram. Went mad for it. And I understand why. I really love it. It's so nice. It's basically a mini skirt and just little mesh top. Completely see-through. Although when it's on, it's not like, whoa, that's super see-through. So don't worry. And the skirt is double lined. So the skirt isn't isn't hugely see-through but i did wear it over a bikini because the festival was 
as I say, in Hungary it was 37 degrees and it was on like a lake. It's super cute. It's got like greetings from Rio. It kind of looks like a postcard. It's got like a little, is that a pelican? No, um, what are, what are those birds called? It all runs pretty small. The skirt runs extremely small. So if I were you, I would size up at least like, at least one, if not two sizes in the skirt. And the top, I would size up at least one as well because yeah, it runs slightly small. I think I got the Australian slash UK eight in both. The last thing I got from Pepe Mayo, I also wore at the festival in Hungary. I've got hair in my eye. I am allergic to makeup. Like, I don't know why. If you watch any of my vlogs, you'll know from the last few months, but I just, every time I put anything on my face, I have an allergic reaction. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't wear makeup anymore. So I've got like the bare minimum makeup on just like here. And here, like, I can't put anything anywhere near my eyes. So I can't put concealer, like, under my eyes. I can't put eyeshadow, powder, anything. I can just about get away with doing my eyebrows. I just am essentially allergic to makeup or something. I'm allergic to something or intolerant to something that I'm putting on my face. I've had quite a bad reaction from last week when I was wearing a lot of makeup at the festival in Hungary. And obviously it was super hot, so I think I was, like, sweating as well as having makeup then on my eyes and it was just really irritating it. So if you're wondering, that's why I look like a little bit of a naked mole rat because I can't put anything on my eyes, which is kind of annoying, but also kind of nice because it just means I don't have to put makeup on and I don't have to take it off either in the evening. Anyway, this is the last piece. It is a little linen mini dress from Pepe Mayo. It's super cute. It's very much giving Coachella. It's got like little like palm trees and it's just got all sorts of little patterns on it. It's really cute. And then it has these little side cut-out bits, which I think are super flattering because it kind of pulls you in at the waist. I got this in the, oh, I got this in the four, the Australian slash UK four. The model was wearing like quite a small size in comparison to like other things. Or maybe on the website it said size down because it comes up big. I don't know, but I sized down anyway, I got the four and I'm quite glad I did really. I think if I'd got the six, it probably would have been slightly too big for me. And that's everything. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but that's just like a little sneak peek into my recent wardrobe, my June sort of wardrobe and stuff I've been buying and adding into my wardrobe over the last month. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like the hauls, if you want me to do more hauls. I used to do quite a lot of hauls and then I just, I go through phases with hauls where I'm like, I'm bored of them or I'm not like, like buying a lot of stuff and I don't just want to buy stuff for the fun of it. So I don't always just wanna do constant hauls all the time, but I did just really like a lot of these outfits. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.